guys. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Teacher, what's going on with you? Good night. <laughs> how are you, guys? Hey, Alex. Hey, Isa. How are you, girls and boys? Oh, somebody's eating a cookie. That's good. Yeah, hey, teacher. you should share with us. Come on. How are you, teacher? I'm tired, as usual. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> but, but here, yes, I had just came from a meeting, so I was like in a hurry right now. Like in a hurry. That was like you. I just came here around, let's see, I think quarter to nine. Wow. It's too late. <laughs> yes, I know. That's why you see me like a little bit fancy today, but that's the reason why. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, like here we are. Especially because these days from I think this month, well no, from the from the very last days of uh previously month until this end of the year. I don't know if you have noticed that. I don't know if you drive or you just take the bus, but uh have you seen that the traffic has been really heavy those days? In this month is is horrible, right? Usually the mm -hmm. traffic and the people are crazy because because the they found the the clothes and the gift for the people and I I don't like this this month because I I prefer to I prefer to to be in my home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I and I don't like uh, go out in this month. <laughs> no, yes, it's really it, it, <laughs> imagine the the people that are driving. They're a little bit under pressure. They insult you. Yeah. So goodness, yeah, it's it's really heavy. And air, I think I remember, like uh, before the pandemic, you used to know that specific time during the day that it was like a traffic jam, right? But now, it, the whole day, you find like a lot of traffic no matter where you go and no matter which time of the day is it and, and which day. Because I remember that at 3 p.m. they start the, the heavy traffic or at the end of at 3 or 4 on Fridays, right? That is when it's raining, the traffic was heavy. But nowadays... We don't have a specific time or specific day. You find a heavy traffic every single day. Oof. Good. Yes, it's true. It's true, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. All righty. But I'm so happy that even though it was really hard for you today, maybe you're tired because you have came from work or if you do not work out, but you have your family, you work from home, still it's, it's, it's tough and it's really tough. Well, sometimes you gotta do the two things at the same time, right? Work outside and working at home. So it's really hard. And for the people who study in high school, I'm not talking about Christian, right? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about him. He does an example. <laughs> but yes, but every even though he's a younger, he's the youngest of the of the group. But yes, this is still heavy for him. Yeah, I was mm. Alex, right? Be because the pe the the people prefer to to have a class online mm -hmm. because the traffic is very horrible. <laughs> horrible, yes, it's, it's, it's demanding, yeah, it's, it's really horrible. So I really understand right now that it's really heavy for you, but I'm so happy that even though you are like really tired, but you're here, but it shows your commitment and the willing to learn. And remember what we were discussing yesterday, guys? For example, let me ask you, when you would like to learn something, uh, what do you do to improve it? For example, guys, uh, if you would like to learn to, to ride a motorcycle, what would you do to improve that learning? Who, who drives here? Who drives? Who can drive? Alex, Christian, Carlitos, Luis. Carlitos. I can drive car. You can drive a car. A standard, yes. A standard one. Ah, but you can drive a, an automatic one as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have learned from standard one, you can you you can also drive the other one as well. Very good. So tell me, Isaura, now that you're talking about cars, 
what what have you done or uh -huh, what decision that you, or what ways that you have taken to learn how to drive how to drive a car what you have done to learn because of mm -hmm. course you do not get into the car and start driving right yeah what but... did, you, did you go to the school or something like that no my cousin oh your cousin me. yes ah, okay <laughs> i learned in one week <laughs> in one week yeah. oh my god but you watch him or you were uh, no, in the first, in the first time I, I, I take a car. Oh, okay. In first so, class. So you said <laughs> by, uh, by practicing with your cousin, you learn how to drive. <laughs> by practicing with your cousin. Okay, that's good. Okay, by listening, right? By listening to his advice. Because he also let you know, hey, do this, don't do that, please stop here. Watch out with the traffic lights and all the rules, all the traffic rules that we need to follow. All the signs. He's very passionate. He's very passionate. You see? <laughs> you see? Yes. So by searching for a good um, driving class teacher, you can learn to be a responsible driver. Hmm? Yes. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Now, guys. Who wants to drive a motorcycle? Who loves motos? Uh huh. You know, any no nobody likes to, to drive motorcycles. <gasps> no. Uh huh. I drive motorcycle. Who? I drive motorcycle. Really, Alex? Yes, okay. I drive motorcycle. Okay, so do me a favor. What do you have done to learn to motorcycle uh, drive a motorcycle? What are steps you took? To... I I use I use um remind when I just teach me to drive a bicycle. Uh -huh. and then, um... By remembering, right? By remembering. Yeah. yeah. How remember to how to what? How to ride? How to ride a motorcycle? Uh, yeah, no, how to, how to ride a bicycle. A bicycle. Yeah. Uh huh. So that came up to your mind when you start yeah. uh, riding a motorcycle. Yeah. Oh. Then Do you I, have a motorcycle right now? I got a first motorcycle to. Oh my goodness. To to um. Learn. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, so, Mr. I, Alex, I leave it there. Okay, so, can you imagine? Yeah, hey, I... imagine Alex in a motorcycle, like a renegade one with a sunglasses, you know? Woohoo! Yeah. Hey, what, what type of motorcycles do you like? Uh, any, I don't, I don't have you any. You don't have a preferred brand or style, no? No, no, no. As long as our motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so you see, he said, by remembering how to ride a bicycle, I put in practice to ride a motorcycle, he said. Okay, awesome. Hey, I remember that some of you said that you like to dance, right? Who said I like to dance? I remember. Who who likes to I dance? I love dance. I love dance. You like I dancing. Love... Alex, yeah, who else? Dance. Salsa, Carlita, merengue, David. cumbia. Oh my goodness, cumbia, salsa, Great merengue, tone, rap. Oh my god! So we have a multifaceted guy here. But now let me ask you: Have you think now that you that you like to dance different type of of dancing, right, or rhythms? Have you think into take ball, ballroom dancing? Ballroom dancing? You know what ballroom dancing is? Balloon dancing. No, ballroom. I'm going to put it here. Ballroom. That means bailes de salon. Yeah, like uh -huh. I... Aha. Uh -huh. I like cha cha cha. Like right now. Yeah, salsa. Uh -huh. salsa exactly. 
So uh, let me ask you, what is steps or what do you think or what will be the best way to learn a ballroom dancing? Any idea? Or what you have done? Now that you tell me that you are that you like to dance salsa, cumbia, merengue, those are ballroom dancings as well. So what you have done to learn it? To just by watching TV, by watching YouTube, by going to a dance class, I don't know what you have done. I I think first of all you have to listen to the music. By listening like to it. the music, okay. Yeah, by listening, yeah. All right, if that's he, first. What he, else? What else what what else you can do or what else you need to do? Only listening? Practicing. Practice it by that, practicing alone yeah. or with somebody? Um with the teacher or with, with a, a person teacher? That, that oh. teacher. So you said that it would be a really good idea idea by attending to dance class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have a, a ballroom dance classes here in El Salvador? I don't remember. There's a place. Is there a place? Yeah, there is Where? one in San Salvador. There is a guy to, Which to one? post the, the commercial in the the program in the morning. He calls, uh, how do you call that? I don't know. You tell uh, me. Uh, how do you? Um, I don't remember right Wait, now. Can you remember the name of the guy, you know? Or the name no. of the place? The thing is, like, I don't, I don't, don't remember. Okay, you, no, just, I don't remember. Sorry. Just search on your hamster. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then let us know, right? <laughs> you just send that information because it's really important to know that, right? Of course. For example, imagine Christian is going to marry it in the future, right? Let's pretend that after he graduated from medicine and he needs to know how to how to dance, right, Christian? He needs to know how to dance. Aha, uh -huh, Christian. Me yeah, see. Ah, verdad. What? Yeah. What? You're going to graduate from medicine, right? The graduate de medicine. Okay. In the future, you're gonna get married. Espero yo, espero que se acuerde toda la mala aquí. All right, Entonces, but you need to know how to dance, right? Tienes que saber cómo bailar. Entonces, tenemos la información de Alex. I know you can't, but it's, it's important that yeah, you learn how to dance. At least, you, you're not gonna be a Michael Jackson, of course, but at least move your feet, right? Imagínate, te sale una chava bailarina. How, what are you gonna do, my friend? <laughs> All right. no yes, that is that is the thing. That Eso is the thing. Ahorita, that... Right? Ya van a ver cuando tenga 20, a ver si que cambia la cosa. If, mm -hmm. if, if, that is nah. the thing. If you like, if you like music, if my, you like music, you like to go to the. Yeah. We are 40 songs, so we know what we are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we are teasing you, my friend. Okay, another another situation, guys. Who likes to write? Who likes to write? A quien le gusta escribir? Who likes to write? Write whatever. Or write stories. Write poems. Who likes to write? I just like Salvador. to write um, letters and music. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. But what about write a short story? Me teacher. David, <laughs> tenemos aquí, wow, un Pablo Neruda, that's amazing. All right, so tell me, David, if you would like to write a, a short story, what do you have to do? Well, <laughs> I really Look like to write, <clears throat> I really like to write, but um, I don't know, I have something about um, what I see every day. For example, hmm. uh, I, I ah, don't know like how a to diary, say diary, uh huh. But I I write um, some facts that I see every day. As for example, ah. So you said by observing. Yeah. Yes. That. That's it. Um. 
mm. well uh, how I feel and how the others feel, mm. what I see, the, the faces that I see on the bus on the streets, mm. a situation that I yeah, situation by that I can listening see to today. people by observing people's reaction, <laughs> facial expressions. Uh. Yeah, and, and I think uh, it's something important for me because it's a it's like a therapy. Uh-huh. And and try to learn about a uh, more person's uh, feelings and wow. activities that people yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We you see, we have dancers here, we have doctors here, we have writers. Goodness, you see, I, I didn't know that part of you, my friends, but that's good. Excellent. We have another Pablo Neruda here, which is really good. All righty. Now, thank you, David. Now, do me a favor. Who likes computers? I mean, who is computerholic? Like, for example, looking for a new program to learn, etc. Who likes to do that? Frank, I don't know, Carlita, Christian. I guess so. Yeah, I like Louis. it. My man, Luis, okay. Uh, well, oh, in, uh, uh, in my case, uh -huh. I don't know I come to the holy. But I like too much about the computers, programmation, and something like that because um, I think I like uh, repair. Ah, okay. Uh, and for example, I have a uh, 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 old old machines like uh, tablets and laptops. Uh huh. And I see very much. I will. I watch very very much videos in YouTube. Ah, to, so how how to repair uh, it, right? Uh huh. Yeah, how to repair it, how to install a new program, how to um. Uh, use uh, an old tablet, for example, mm -hmm. to have a, a, a extra monitor or a new, uh, uh, the same tablet, but with the new program or new actualization or something like that. So basically by watching YouTube videos, you learn how to become a good um, computer system repair, right? Well, awesome. it's, it's something like uh, uh how to install a new program oh, awesome. in an all computers or in an all public ah okay so by by watching youtube youtube videos you learn how to install the new programs on the computers that's amazing yep. Yep, awesome exactly. good job now do me a favor guys and this is going to be uh, thank you Luis. this is going to be a really interesting question but I want you to be sincere. <laughs> okay. Be honest. Who likes to talk in public? <laughs> Isa. Who is afraid to talk in public? Who's like, yeah. no. I like you like. You <laughs> like. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but tell me something. Is it easy to talk in public? In my case, yes. Because when... of your personality. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a yes. plus. We can say. <laughs> However, do you think that is like we just can be like in front of people and start talking about whatever comes to your mind? Oh, we need to prepare. It. I need to prepare. Yeah, so by preparing Class. seriously. Okay. Yes. <laughs> huh. What about a create, edit, and post videos. Who, who is crazy about camera things and editing and like recording videos about anything, about birds, about nature, about oceans, about whatever topic you uh, you learned, about medicine, about, I don't know, cultural things. What is What would be the best way to learn how to create, edit, and post a video. What do you think, Francisco? Uh, in my case, I'm only in TikTok. TikTok, uh -huh. yeah. talking about TikTok. Everybody like dancing, right? 
they do yeah, have like I, I like uh, I like make this video when I I go to write. Uh -huh. Yeah, to write the, the, my, the, the other company, the other cycle too, mm -hmm. and the other routes we I I I record, record, I record, record in the moment in and the finishes. I edit um video with the, the platform mm -hmm. the in um, letter share for the group. Aha! Uh -huh. So you said by recording your activities. And then by editing your activities on a special platform? Yes, on special. Uh, the TikTok or uh, a special TikTok. TikTok. Hey, you should have sent it to us one TikTok about Francisco. Yeah. What? A day with Francisco. That would be a really good topic, right? For a TikTok yeah. video. A day with Francisco. Or oh, a day with Frank. Wow, that would be nice. You see, you can see Francisco really quiet, interesting man paying attention in English classes, and you don't have any idea that he's a TikTok lover. You see, we learn something new every single day, my friends. Okay, what am I asking about that? Have you noticed that I've been using by doing something? Yes, Carlita, do me a favor. Go ahead, my dear friend. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I like the computers and the cell phones and applications and uh, about the videos, but related um, with the special moments in family and, and with friends. Ah, so you can share your idea with Francisco. Maybe we can say a date in Francisco and Carlitos. And Mr. David, he wants to join the TikTok as well. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, um, I don't use TikTok, <clears throat> me. but I, but I, <laughs> um, I like to uh, to go out um, okay. a lot. Uh -huh. I I but have traveled so right? many places in in El Salvador and out of this country, uh -huh. and I like to film uh, videos uh -huh. and I edit them, uh, adding a, a song. And oh, that, really? And uh huh. To be yeah, more like that, interactive one, right? Yeah, I uploaded uh, those videos in Facebook, and the the people really like them. What about <laughs> Instagram as well? No. Yeah, Instagram as well. Mm -hmm. So the people always says, "Wow, your videos are so amazing! I would like to go with you sometime." <laughs> oh my God, you could be a a a, a tour guide. guide, maybe. Yeah. Yes, I really like it. Some people have said that to me. And, and with my English skills, it uh -huh. would be perfect. Are you I, see? I uh -huh. and, and, and you can imagine, Frank or David, by learning um, or by paying attention to the teachers at English class, you will be able to become a better TikToker or a better <laughs> uh, tourist guide like David. Who knows, right? Maybe you can do like um, a video, David, in English. Yeah, um, actually, is it right? Yay, actually, sometimes I film myself and tell him some things, the interesting Yay. things I, I, I see awesome. in, in English, for example. Sometimes I speak about um, how I feel today, but I only speak in English. That's good. <laughs> so, That's good. Hey, so, and do you listen to yourself after you have recorded? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, that's I don't, nice. and I don't really like my own voice. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's part of the process. But it's good what you do. Actually, there is something that we can basically take as an advice. By recording yourself, you will be able to learn how is your pronunciation, how you feel when you talk about um, any kind of topic when you speak in English. So you can say, by... Um, Recording myself or by doing some audio or video practices, I can develop my <coughs> English skills. Yeah, um, actually, I I do this like mm -hmm. an exercise. Oh, good. And yeah, uh, I have a contact with with a girl from this group, mm -hmm. and the other day we were talking about a songs, and she really likes to sing. 
and I said, I me too. So I sent him, I sent her a video singing a song in English. And oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah, God. it was really nice. You know what? Maybe we can practice a song and we can sing it at the end of the course. That would be amazing. No problem for me. <clears throat> for you, <laughs> but let's ask somebody else. Okay, thank you, David. Frank, you're about to say something? Go ahead. Yeah, this is only a share uh, share on uh, one video on uh, the uh, uh, WhatsApp for the uh, I make. Ah, really awesome! We're gonna watch it later on. Thank you so much. Hey guys, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, thank you, Frank. We're gonna see it. Oh yes. Oh Paco be a forty. Oh Paco. Francisco. I, I should I should have called you Paco. Okay. Or oh, you prefer Frank or Francisco? Uh, uh whatever. Whatever. Paco, doesn't matter. Francisco. Okay, cool. yeah, okay. Frank. All righty. Thank you, Frank. Okay. Now, guys, that we have talked about that, have you noticed that I'm using by listening, by watching, by... I was listening when I was... When we were talking about how ways we can use to develop our skills or to learn something new, I use by plus ing. So guys, that is a grammar part that will be really helpful when you are talking about something that you would like to learn and what steps you will take or are you taking to achieve your goal. For example, uh, in this case, Alex mentioned by remembering my how to ride bicycle when he was a little baby. That was yesterday, right? That was yesterday. Okay. That helps him ride a motorcycle. Or for example, Francisco said, by recording my, da my daily routine or by recording where I go, by the editing or by having a special program, I can create and need edit and post a TikTok video. So you see how useful and helpful is the word by in the ING form? Or for example, Louis said, by watching YouTube videos, I learned how to use or how to install programs in a couple of computers. Christian, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So you see how it's important, guys? So when you express yourself and describe what steps you are doing to improve in a specific area, to improve in learning a foreign language, to basically learn how to play a musical instrument, to do this, to do that, it's really important and it's useful to use by plus ing form. Okay? So for now on, I want you to use by from ing form. You see how grammar is useful? It's not bored. It's really important to basically use it in an appropriate way or have another way to express what you think in a different way to increase your vocabulary. Now, talking about that, guys, I want you to pay attention to a specific guys. So, actually, his name is Todd and Lucy. And they will, scri they will describe, guys, how they develop two skills. The first skill is learn to play a musical instrument. And the second one is become a good conversationalist. That means people that know how to speak, right? Okay. So guys, do me a favor. I want you to pay attention on how they did they learn, what steps they took to learn to be a good conversationalist, but at the same time to play a musical instrument. Okay? Do you understand what you're going to do? See? Christian, everybody, David, Isa, Isara, Frank, Carlita, Alex, yeah. Sí? Vamos a escuchar a dos personas. Y quiero que pongan atención a ver cómo ellos, qué, qué steps o qué pasos hicieron para ellos empezar a, a poder mejorar en el caso de uno y el otro, a llegar a ser mejor, una persona mejor conversacional y a la vez a la otra persona a cómo pudo 
eh, aprender a tocar un instrumento. ¿Les parece? Ah, okay, sí, teacher. teacher, sí, teacher, of course, of course, yes, yeah. yeah, teacher, uh -huh. all righty, okay, so let me share right now my screen, thank you, Ida, and let's pay attention. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, teacher, you gotta play the audio, yes, of course. 10, discussion, ways of learning, part A. Listen to Todd and Lucy describe how they developed two skills. How did they learn? Complete the chart. 1. Learn to play a musical instrument. Todd. I play the guitar. I haven't played for very long, maybe about two years. The way I learned was by practicing by myself with a how-to video my girlfriend bought for me. It takes a lot of patience to teach yourself how to do something, especially a musical instrument. But it works for me. I'm still learning, and I can practice as little or as much as I want. And I'm slowly getting better and better. There are even free video lessons online I check out sometimes. Lucy. I could never teach myself a musical instrument. I need a teacher and one who makes me practice. That's how I learned the piano. I started taking lessons when I was in middle school. I'd go to a neighbor's house after school twice a week, and she'd teach me for an hour or so. She was a good teacher, strict, but she knew how to get me to play. I suppose it helps that I've always wanted to play the piano. I don't take lessons anymore but I still practice at least once a week. You know that saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> Two, become a good conversationalist. Todd. I guess I learned how to communicate with people when I was a flight attendant. I worked as a flight attendant for five years. The most important thing you have to do in that job is to talk to passengers especially during long flights. You learn to talk about all kinds of stuff, and you find out just how interesting some people's lives are. I think the key to being a good conversationalist is to be sincerely interested in other people and to try to get them to talk about themselves as much as possible. Lucy. I had always been really shy. I was the sort of person who could go to a party and never talk to anybody. And when you don't talk to anybody, it's hard to make friends. Anyway, my sister suggested I take an acting class. She said it might help me become more outgoing. So I did it. I was really frightened in that first acting class. But you know, it really helped. The teacher was very kind and taught me that I could talk to anybody just by pretending I had confidence. Okay. Do me a favor. Would you like me to play to play it one more time? Yes, Did you teacher. Yes? Yeah. yeah, do you understand everything or no? No? Okay. I know, guys. These kind of audios, they are a little bit complicated because they do not give you the answer right straight ahead. If you see, you got to pay attention or to get the information that we need from the whole story they are talking about. I know. That's one of the keys for this. You know what? This is really nice because, for example, when you're talking about with somebody, sometimes they will give you the whole soap opera, right? Le dicen toda la novela uno. Y de todo lo que le dicen, tenés que cachar, which is the most important thing. Okay? Entonces, Vamos a volver a escuchar el audio. We're going to play the audio one more time. Vamos a escuchar primero Todd y Lucy talking about learning how to play a new instrument. Eso es lo primero que hagan. Quiero que de todo lo que dicen, try to catch the two or three ideas that they do uh, basically give, gave us or the steps that they follow to learn the new instrument. And in the second time, they're going to talk about what they have done to become a good conversationalist. 
Okay? So let me play it one more time. Yes, Carlita, go ahead. Uh, in general, the first person learn as the uh, mismo. And the second person uh, with the teacher Aha. or instructor. Instructor. But they have done something else. For example, the first one. How? Okay, yes, of course. It's autodidactic, the first one. But what, what have done to do that? So just, just pay attention to this one. Thank you, Carlita. Okay, let me play it one more time, guys. And then I'm going to stop after they answer each question, okay? So let's do it one more time. Let's see. Page 53, exercise 10, discussion. Ways of learning. Part A. Listen to Todd and Lucy describe how they developed two skills. How did they learn? Complete the chart. 1. Learn to play a musical instrument. Todd. I play the guitar. I haven't played for very long, maybe about two years. The way I learned was by practicing by myself with a how-to video my girlfriend bought for me. It takes a lot of patience to teach yourself how to do something, especially a musical instrument. But it works for me. I'm still learning, and I can practice as little or as much as I want. And I'm slowly getting better and better. There are even free video lessons online I check out sometimes. Okay, so guys, talking about Todd. Yeah. Carlita already gave us some clue. No de una pista. What that has he have done to basically learn to play a new instrument? He learned he about the video the girlfriend bought to him. Uh-huh. By practicing with the video. Exactly. Practicing, practice. Uh-huh. Practicing, practicing, right? Okay. Is it hard to teach yourself how to play an instrument? Yeah. She, yeah. she, yeah. 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 she practiced yeah, for hard. three years. Mm-hmm. Then he said that sometimes he watches the videos. Do you remember the name of the book that his girlfriend bought for him? No? Teacher, that was too much information. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> All right, let's continue right now with Lucy. Let's see what Lucy is about to share with us. Lucy, I could never teach myself a musical instrument. I need a teacher and one who makes me practice. That's how I learned the piano. I started taking lessons when I was in middle school. I'd go to a neighbor's house after school twice a week, and she'd teach me for an hour or so. She was a good teacher, strict, but she knew how to get me to play. I suppose it helps that I've always wanted to play the piano. I don't take lessons anymore, but I still practice at least once a week. You know that saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. Okay, what about Lucy? How did she learn how to play the as a musical instrument. The teacher is very strict. Uh, uh -huh. teacher, so is, 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 was she uh, an autodidactic like Tom? Like Todd? No. No. No, she needed a teacher. She needed a teacher like a Alex teacher. said. Exactly. So she got a took music uh, classes, right? The, yeah, piano. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, Alex. Go ahead. She, she got study piano uh, uh -huh. classes. Yes, but, piano classes. But she when she started, go... no? when she, when did she start it to take a, a, a music classes? From middle, which... middle, middle school. In middle school, exactly. Well, she was really young, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. Alrighty. Um. Did she continue practicing? No, no, no. Is she said that uh, if hmm? you don't practice, better Once lose it. Week. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Very good job. Now, guys, let's listen about the second question. What they have done to become a good conversionalist people, okay? Or person. Let's listen to Todd first. 
2. Become a good conversationalist. conversationalist. Todd. I guess I learned how to communicate with people when I was a flight attendant. I worked as a flight attendant for five years. The most important thing you have to do in that job is to talk to passengers, especially during long flights. You learn to talk about all kinds of stuff, and you find out just how interesting some people's lives are. I think the key to being a good conversationalist is to be sincerely interested in other people and to try to get them to talk about themselves as much as possible. Okay, guys, what about Todd? How he became a good conversationalist person? What it was he used to do? What was his job? Talking about the set with the passengers in, the, in, the, in his work. Aha, uh -huh. he used to be a what? A flight? Flight attendant. Flight attendant, exactly. So how did he learn how to be conversationalist person? What, what have he done when he used to be a flight attendant? He talked with the, the old passenger or the uh -huh. old car. Exactly. Is that did he really care about passenger, about people? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. That was one of the keys, he said. Awesome. Good job, guys. What about uh, Lucy? What she can tell us about it? Lucy. I had always been really shy. I was the sort of person who could go to a party and never talk to anybody. And when you don't talk to anybody, it's hard to make friends. Anyway, my sister suggested I take an acting class. She said it might help me become more outgoing. So I did it. I was really frightened in that first acting class. But you know, it really helped. The teacher was very kind and taught me that I could talk to anybody just by pretending I had confidence. Aha. Uh -huh. So what about her, guys? How she became a good conversationalist person? What she have done? ¿Qué hizo ella? She goes to classes. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Uh -huh. Alex, Christian, Frankie, Isa. Uh -huh, Alex. Um, she was very shy uh, about going to a class, but she got a teacher uh -huh. to teach her how to, how to talk. Yeah, and then she started to... She started? Mm -hmm. to, to get a self-confidence. Self-confidence, exactly. And then she, she got uh, experience experience so she get a uh, confidence and, and start to talk uh, with the people exactly like uh, like what i'm trying to do with you self-confidence a uh, good job excellent job guys now we're gonna practice something we're gonna listen one conversation the, the conversation that we listened on the previously class remember uh, talking about learning foreign language and then i'm gonna share with you that conversation, and then we are going to practice. We're going to make a role plays, okay? So, ha, <laughs> ha, oh, no, teacher, I'm sorry. Yes, of course, we will. All righty. So, do me a favor. Let me go back here, and I'm going to play this audio one more time, but at the same time, I'm going to do something for you. In the meantime, when I'm playing the audio, I'm going to share right now with you, actually, the conversation. So, what I want you to do is at the same time that you're listening the conversation, uh, I want you to basically read, read it for yourself. What we are going to do here, we're going to develop two skills, the listening skills and the writing skills as well. Guys, I want you to pay attention, not only in the intonation of the questions, but at the same time, how they express self-confidence when they are talking about ways to learn how to basically become a better foreign language student. In this case, this girl is learning French, one of my special languages that I like. 
All right, there you go. So let me go back. Okay, I have sent it to you right now. Do me a favor. Let me know if you receive it, please, guys. I sent it through the WhatsApp. Did you receive the, the small conversation that I have sent it right now? Let me know if you did. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, awesome. All right, so now that you have it for you, for your records, okay, please listen and at the same time, try to read it and focus on the intonation and the pronunciation because after that, we're going to practice in pairs, okay? So just give me a couple of minutes. Let me go back. Let me share Page my screen. 52, exercise eight, conversation. And... Maybe I'm... All righty, let's see, teacher, you're about to play it and we have no share the computer, come on. Okay, there you go. Let me just go back here really quickly. There you go, okay. Page 52. Can you listen? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. Yes. Exercise 8, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Part A, listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. Mm -hmm. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. All right. So, guys, do me a favor. Did you notice about the intonation and the pronunciation of the words? Yeah? Let me just put it one more time. But now I don't want you to focus on that. I want you to focus on the advice that these people is given using by plus ing form to basically to improve the learning of foreign language in this case you're learning english they're talking about french but you can basically put in practice their advice and I, and we're going to discuss that when we come back okay so just give me a couple of minutes let me play it one more time and all that i need is just to get the information about what will be the steps to follow to improve your learning of the foreign language. Let's listen one more time. Page 52, exercise 8, conversation. Maybe I should try that. Mm -hmm. Part A, listen and practice. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. All righty. So which will be the advice? Was it hard for her to learn French? Yes, right. But which advice did um in this case his friend gave her? At least I could catch three, at least. The which one were in they? A, the sticking in a. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, sticking in a. Uh, you got it. Words man. in the in the after in in looking in the after to go sleep. Uh huh. Exactly. For example, if you're learning a new vocabulary, you're just writing on the sticky notes and you put it on the wall. That was one. But did you listen another one? Thank you, Alex. David, Isabel, I don't know. Sarah? Yeah, I can listen to the you to watch CD. Aha. Uh -huh. By watching CD, right? To improve that. To improve what? Vocabulary or to improve accent? 
Accent. Accent. Exactly. Accent. And he mentioned something else. We're missing one more. From from pronunciation. Aha, uh -huh, pronunciation. Very good. Now, guys, do me a favor. I'm going to basically, we have 10 minutes, so we still have a good time to practice. We're going to practice in pair the same composition. And I want you to first play one role. And when you finish, you gotta switch roles. Okay? All righty, let's see. David, don't fall asleep, my man. What? And like, what? <laughs> no, I'm just paying attention 100%, teacher. <laughs> I'm just sure. All right, don't worry. Okay, let's see who's gonna be my big team. No, I apologize. Let's see. Let me check. How many we are? 20, 19 in this case. With me, 20. So it will be 10 groups of two, right? There you go. You see, I'm good in math. All right, we have the first victims or the first participants. We do have Mr. Christian and Mr. David. All right. Then we do have Ida and, and Saulito. All righty. Then I do have here Frank and Isaura. Then I do have Miss Carlita and I think I'm going to put you, Carlita, with Luis. All righty. Let's see. Who else? I do have um, Isabel and Miss Catherine. Okay, let's see who else I have here. Mm -hmm. I have Carlitos and Glendy. Then I do have Maria and Natalie. Mm -hmm. Then I do have Nubi and Raulito. Let's continue. I have Rebecca, Ruth, and Sam. All righty. So you live for Le Francais? Yeah, je parle français, monsieur. Oh, oui. <laughs> oui, oui. Oui, c'est ça? Oui, oui. Oui, oui. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you learn one word. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Quién sabe si después le enseñamos francés. Pero primero aprendan bien en inglés, después vamos para el otro, oigan. What means the bois, merci. Ok, enchanté, monsieur. <laughs> ok, démosle pues. A ver, open the small groups, guys. Ok, send you the invitation. Please accept it and practice the conversation that we have learned so far. Uh -huh. Maria, newbie, okay, let's see. Accept invitation, David, we're here, good. Hey. <laughs> okay, David, accept the invitation, Maria, Raulito, Rudy. Samuel Isaac. David. Accept the invitation, please. Ruti. No bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a, a while to get uh, a it na it's right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language you see this. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary 
I always seem to forget new words. your accent by listening to language CDs. It's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I am Kelly. Yeah, now okay. change roles, please. Okay, so okay. how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, I imagine it takes a while to get it right. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language studies. That's good. I what happened, Frank? What happened, David? Nothing. Everything is good. Everything is good. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yeah, we finished the to learn a fight. Ah, okay, okay. Let's go back in this case to business. I yes. think David had a problem with joining Christian. All righty, I have everybody here, almost everybody, all righty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'm going to wait for the rest. We're going to practice the, the pronunciation and intonation of some words. Very good job in doing your best. But still, we need to practice some pronunciation for vocabulary, okay? But good job. Good job, guys. I'm going to pick somebody to make a role play for tomorrow. Isabel, good job. Hi, is, is it your day off? You look so relaxed today. No, teacher, I have sleep. Oh, you're sleepy, like. Yes, so I don't sleep. Uh, yesterday. Really? Yes, I uh, because I I had an exam. Oh my god! Chemistry. Daddy. Oh. Yes. Okay, so but you should sleep very well today. Yeah, sorry, Chris. I think David had a problem with um with the internet connection and he couldn't join you. Hi, Janelle. But well, well, basically we're gonna oh, practice oh, tomorrow. Okay, so don't worry. Okay. Hello, hello, Janelle. Nice to see you. She's working right now. Okay, but she has joined the class. So good job. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, guys, before we go, 
I wanna I want you to practice the pronunciation of some words that I have noticed when you were playing playing the role plays. Okay. For example, guys, this is really important for me to help you to join, to join the pronunciation of some words to basically sound more natural. For example, this one. How's your French class? Repeat after me. So how's your French class? So how's your French how's class? Your French class? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. But I'm finding the pronunciation I'm find difficult. difficult. I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. I'm, I'm finding, finding the pronunciation, the pronunciation difficult. difficult. Well, I'd imagine it takes a while to get it right. Well, I, I imagine, I imagine it, takes it takes a while to get that right. Get it right. To get it right. Get it to right. get it right. Get it right. Fíjate, tiene que hacer los tres de un solo. To get it right. Okay. You know, you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. You could improve your accent by listening your language CDs. All right. Do you see that we have two Cs? Dos Cs, ¿verdad? So it's yes. accent. 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 You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. One more time, guys. You could improve, you could improve your, your accent, accent by listening, by listening to, to language, language CDs. CDs. Very good. You said, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. But good how idea. do you learn your vocabulary? But how do you learn your vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I always, I always seem to forget new words. Forget new words. Forget new words. Very good. I learn new English words by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in the, my room. I learn new I learn English, English words, words that's that's by writing, my, writing them, on, them pieces on pieces of paper, of paper and sticking, and them, sticking them, on them on things in, in my room. Look at them every night before I go to bed. Look at them every, every night, night every before, night before, night before I to get to sleep. Hmm. Maybe I should try something like that. Maybe, Maybe I should try, try something, something like that. Something like that. Ay, pero que, que se oye como, ¿se acuerdan cuando uno dice, ah, de plano? Mmm. <laughs> so, you see that expression. Mm, it, it no es lo que, mmm, tengo hambre, no. Mmm, como, mira, no había pensado en eso, vea. Mmm. Maybe I should try something like that. ¿Sí? Traten de, de, de get into the character. ¿Ok? That's good, but good job, guys. Tomorrow I will pick two or four of you to make the role plays for this exactly dialogue. So please practice the intonation, practice the, uh, the pronunciation and also the joints of the words, okay? To try to, try to sound more natural. But guys, I don't care about velocity, but I do care where speedness, but I do care about pronunciation of words. That will be really important. Try to work first with the pronunciation. When you start and when you hand and when you are basically good with the pronunciation, then we're going to practice the speedness. But first of all, focus on the pronunciation of the words. Okay, yes, Isabel, I know, I know. She has a pillow and the blanket, right? And the blanket. You're almost go to bed, my dear. Okay. Kisses and hugs. Have an amazing night. Good night. Tomorrow, okay? Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night.